So, Matthew, walk us through the timeline of events here. Well, Ros, back in January 2019, the Wangaratta Clay Target Club posted on their website um, some happy snaps from Bridget McKenzie, who was then the sports minister, her visit to the club, and also boasted that it's rare for gun clubs around the country to be able to claim federal ministers as one of their own members. But during that visit, uh, Bridget McKenzie had been a, quote, a fully full fee-paying member. It was a month later that Bridget McKenzie arrived arrived at the club with the Nationals candidate for the federal electorate of Indi and announced that the club had been successful in receiving a grant of 36, almost $36,000 to upgrade its facilities there. Uh, it appears since uh, with a check of Senator McKenzie's register of senators' interest, which is the document that all members and senators have to fill out saying what sort of financial interests they have, everything from home loans to uh, uh, personal loans any rent that comes in from investment properties and also any memberships of clubs, any gifts that they are given. It appears based on that that Senator McKenzie has not declared her membership of this club, which is raising fresh concerns about whether there is indeed a conflict of interest. Now, we've been able to speak to Senator McKenzie's office this morning. They have said that uh, this grant came up for consideration in December 2018, so a month before uh, the uh, the meeting uh, between Senator McKenzie and the gun club where she is uh, touted as having become a member. They've also said that the membership was a gift and it was valued at less than $300 so it wasn't necessary for the office to declare it on her register of senators interests. Uh, and uh, they've also pointed out that Senator uh, McKenzie is uh, a long-known supporter of the uh, recreational shooting sector. She is the co-chair of the Parliamentary Friends of Shooting and suggesting there that it should be no surprise that she might have some of these memberships. But given the way in which this situation has developed over the last few days since that scathing Auditor General's report, this will fan the flames uh, of, uh, of criticism against Bridget McKenzie and and the calls for her to either stand down from the ministry or be stood aside by the Prime Minister. So what's been the reaction uh, so far to this revelation this morning? Well, so far, uh, the only reaction we've had is from uh, Senator McKenzie's Cabinet colleague, who uh, is Greg Hunt, the Health Minister. He was on ABC News Breakfast earlier and asked whether or not uh, Senator McKenzie's position was uh, untenable. He said no, it wasn't, and left it at that. He said that the Auditor General's findings were that all of these grants were within the rules, that these clubs were indeed eligible. And uh, But it must be pointed out that the ANAO report does say that Senator McKenzie and her office ignored the advice from Sport Australia in deciding who to award grants uh, from this $100 million fund and there was a disproportionate number of grants uh, awarded to clubs in coalition marginal seats or seats that the coalition was targeting at the election and we know that the Nationals and the Liberals were both trying to take the seat of Indi in North East Victoria from the independent candidate there, Helen Haynes, who emerged victorious there. The Prime Minister has said that Bridget McKenzie has not done anything wrong and that he, he remains supportive of her remaining in his ministry. Uh, but this latest revelation will put extra pressure on uh, an explanation as to whether Bridget McKenzie declared this membership of a club during her declaration of ministerial interest, which is a separate process to the declaration of uh, senator's interest when she signed up to be a minister. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll wait. To, we have asked the Prime Minister's office for those details and we are still awaiting a response. Matthew, thanks.